Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's exploration of the solar system, we are going to talk about the Luna 17 spacecraft and how that explored the moon. So what is Luna 17? Well, it was launched on November the 10th of 1970. And it landed in one of the Maria, the Mare Imbrium. And it was best known for carrying Lunacod 1. And what is that? Well, that is actually the very first lunar rover to be able to explore the surface. Why would we want a lunar rover? Well, we can explore more of the surface when a craft just lands on the surface, you can explore that area right around it. If it has instrumentation, it can reach out and maybe explore maybe a short distance, maybe a couple of meters away. But if you want to explore more, you need something that is mobile. So that was what was done with this rover here. And here we see a little bit of some of its path that was taken. And you can see that sketched out here as it explored various parts of the lunar surface. Now it didn't explore the entire moon, but it was able to explore a wider range of the lunar surface than would have been possible by just one individual craft. And it took various scientific instruments and conducted soil tests to, to, to study the lunar soil at different areas. Now this was designed to last for three lunar days. A lunar day, you have to remember, one lunar day is about a month. That is how long it takes from sunrise through sunset and back to sunrise again on the moon. It actually exceeded expectations by surviving for 11 days, so almost a full year that it survived. Now you have to remember that conditions on the moon are very harsh. It can go from hundreds of degrees above zero in the sunlight and you have that for two solid weeks and then you can have hundreds of degrees below zero for a couple of weeks. So it is very difficult on equipment. It's very hard on that equipment with those rapid changes that occur especially as you go from day to night and night to day. Now it was able to travel about 10 kilometers over the lunar surface. It's a very small fraction of the surface but more than could be explored otherwise. Finally, contact was lost in September of 1971, uh, although it was imaged later on by the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter in 2010. So able to find where it was. And why did it lose contact? Well, that's a good question. We really don't know what happened to it. But could be something very simple, some kind of mechanical failure or uh, that there's just simply was no longer able to communicate with Earth. Maybe its antenna was no longer to point toward Earth. Maybe the batteries just ran out after being uh, uh, subjected to such intense conditions. So let's go ahead and summarize a little bit about what we looked at with Luna 17. Luna 17 landed on the moon in November of 1970 and carried Lunacod 1, which was the first lunar rover set to explore the moon. The mooner survived 11 lunar days, comparable to 11 Earth months, and was able to explore more than 10 kilometers of the moon's surface. And it was able to do various tests there of the soil samples at different parts of this area. So that concludes this discussion of the Luna 17 spacecraft. We'll be back again next week for another exploration of the solar system. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.